Good morning. Uh, we're going to wait just a couple more minutes um, for some of the uh, other registered attendees to ensure that they have a chance to hear the entire presentation. Hello and welcome to today's ASK Online Academy. The topic of today, today's webinar is ASK Now Virtual Field Services Within Traditional Manufacturing. Our speaker for today's webinar is Charlie Hertz. Charlie is a graduate of The Ohio State University's Max M. Fisher College of Business. He graduated in 2008 and he has also completed postgraduate studies at Louisiana State University and MIT Sloan Business School Executive Management. He holds two technology design patents within the discipline of market intelligence and customer segmentation. Charlie has been with ASK Chemicals for 11 years and is, the, is currently the head of global digital digitalization. He has two daughters and his favorite color is green. My name is Sean Harmon. I am the moderator for today's webinar. My current role for ASK Chemicals is Technical Product Manager for No Bake Binders in North America. I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in Chemistry from Creighton University. We have a few organizational notes for you. For data protection reasons, your clear names will not be visible to other attendees. The image and camera transmission are also deactivated. We welcome your questions. You can submit them via the moderated chat function in the lower right hand corner of your window. Please send them as the questions occur to you. Charlie will answer them after the presentation. If he is unable to answer a question today, we will ensure that your question is answered by our experts at a later time. A recorded version will be made available for those who could not attend today. With that, I will hand over the control of the webinar to Charlie. Great. Thanks, Sean. Uh, pleasure to be here talking about um, our digital tools uh, and um, specifically Ask Now Virtual Field Services. But I'll start with our story. Uh, ASK Chemicals is one of the largest global phenolic resin suppliers uh, to the foundry industry and also industrial resins. Uh, we are headquartered in Dusseldorf, Germany, or just outside of Dusseldorf in Hilden. Uh, we have uh, about 3,000 employees, and we are known uh, mainly for uh, key innovations, three, 3D printed cores, inorganic binder systems, um, core simulation software, and eco-friendly binder solutions. And one innovation that uh, I'm particularly involved in, which is inventory management based on IoT and cloud computing. Okay, technical services. Uh, the main focus for today's webinar is going to be on technical services, which we consider at ASK Chemicals one of our unique selling propositions. Uh, this is something in which we offer in the foundry market uh, where we do process audits, sand analysis, defect analysis, equipment support, like mixer calibration, uh, smoke testing, and R&D, uh, and we also have an R&D melt lab. Um, this has been a major focus of ours. So in the different regions where we're located, our technical services group is uh, very keen to not only make sure that ASK chemical 
Apple uh, products are working as expected, that also they will review your entire foundry process and really partner with you, uh, the customer, to ensure that your process is working the way it should. Okay. On the agenda today, we have uh, first the problem. Um, we will move into the concept, what we believe is a, uh, a solution um, for virtual, uh, virtual solutions and ask now. And then we will also look at the reliability of this solution. But we'll start with the problem. Okay. One of the main issues that we have is a, uh, a talent shortage. Uh, don't take this in a negative sense, but a lot of the technical expertise uh, is leaving the industry. Uh, we ultimately have more people leaving than we do coming back into it. Some regions, uh, like Germany, are going to have a stronger focus within universities, within foundry. Uh, other regions simply don't. And what's happening is we are having uh, limited expertise, which is requiring technical services to be in need, not only within our company, but for our customers. So what this creates is also a superstar, uh, if you would call it that, um, a, almost a superstar technical expert that is a person with a lot of technical expertise. And this individual is going to be required um, to travel quite a lot uh, to different regions, and it creates a constraint. Okay. The second one is education, lack of knowledge transfer. This goes to what the first issue is in the limited talent, but we are also noticing that passing down knowledge within Foundry is something that we're having a challenge with. Uh, one way to do this is obviously hiring people that come into the Foundry industry and then you do apprenticeships. This of course happens, but another way in which we can look at this problem is through digital solutions, making sure that we're keeping track of the, uh, the reports that are ultimately done on the Foundry site and learning from this information. In a very advanced state, you're, uh, you're also noticing uh, tools like artificial intelligence coming in to also keep this knowledge transfer happening. Uh, but at the moment right now, this is very limited in, in scope. So we are having a, um, a lack of knowledge transfer, and we'll talk about that today a little bit more. The next one is sustainability, slow digitization efforts. Um, touching on this in the prior issue, uh, this is all about uh, taking what we do manually and ultimately putting it into a digital form. Uh, some of the unique ways in which people are doing this is with IoT solutions, uh, doing things that essentially would be dangerous or cumbersome for a human to do. We're noticing that this is something that is now getting into manufacturing, but it's been slow. It's been very slow and it's, it, it's caused a, a problem with resource issues in particular. The last one is COVID. Uh, COVID has created a big challenge within the foundry industry, mainly because this is an issue where you need to be face to face sometimes. We notice that whenever we're doing a product trial or a customer is having an issue, then they need an expert on site to be there. And what we were noticing is that during the pandemic, uh, doors were being shut for the safety of employees, not to transfer the virus. And this was very detrimental to our unique selling proposition because Technical services is something that has historically been done face to face. So we had to address this problem as well. And you'll see this in our concept. Okay, so going now to a little bit more in depth of the issues, fewer experts. As noted, the metal casting industry has lost many experts to retirement and few are filling their shoes. This is what I was talking about. Superstar service reps are very hard to get. We have uh, technical service representatives in ASK that have been known to actually have to fly all over the world because they are becoming known as technical experts, but 
it creates a bottleneck, especially if everybody needs this expertise. Reduced reach. With fewer experts comes fewer service visits and overall reach. There's about 1,500 total foundries in the United States and Mexico today. We can reach about 40% of our customers in a given year. So there are many, many foundries that never actually get to experience our unique selling proposition, and therefore we need to address this issue. There are the haves and the have nots, and we wanna make sure that that reach is broader. Scheduling time, most service requests are scheduled out two to four weeks or even longer in some cases. This is a major issue if a foundry is in the situation where they could have their production stopped. If their production stops, this is a major loss in revenue. So we want to make sure that we address the scheduling issue just as much as we address the fewer experts and the reduced reach. Okay, going now to the concept. It starts with customer needs. Now, looking at the customer needs, we'll go through these one by one, and you'll notice on the left-hand side, latent. So latent just means that as we identify customer needs, there are some needs that pop up that were never realized by the customer, but clearly it is a need. So if you see that little icon there, that just means that the customer didn't think of this. We are actually the ones realizing that this could be something beneficial and that we need to address. So the first customer need is, I need support now, but scheduling takes weeks. This is all about longer waiting times. So the need statement that we need to find is on-demand servicing, okay? We need to think about how can we actually address people's needs in a very quick way so that we don't stop their production and we can get them service we need it. Next customer need is I trust, enter any name, more than anyone else, but he is busy. This is back to that superstar concept that I mentioned on the previous slide. So this is all about fewer experts, global servicing and likely language support. We also need to consider this because if there's fewer experts and we need to connect to the experts that are available in the world, then it could be that they speak a different language. So we need to consider this and that is a latent need. So I'm a small account and have no clue who to contact. This is reduced reach and it's self-service tool. We need a tool that people can use and not have it be a cumbersome experience. Next one is my issue is in no bake. You could use any business line, but let's use no bake. That's the one mentioned here. But I also need to recalibrate my mixer. So this also goes to fewer experts. And the need statement that we have to address is capable of having multiple experts on demand, okay? Customers need to connect with experts and maybe that expert needs to connect to another expert depending on the requirements of the customer. Okay, the next one is, I know ASK has solved this problem before, but is there a report? This is about sustainability and think back to when I was talking about education uh, and knowledge transfer. This is what this one's dealing with in particular. Customers are noticing that they want to have a more integrated, a more integrated experience so that they can understand and learn from uh, process audits that have happened in the past. So this is reporting an audit trail and likely with added security, especially if we're dealing in a environment like Europe where there's GDPR, we need to consider that. Next one is, I need someone showing me what to do, otherwise a phone call won't work. Again, sustainability and live annotation features Whatever we come up with is gonna have to be simple enough where we can point and click and show people exactly what we're talking about. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a confusing experience. And the very last one is I need someone to tell me what type of defect I have and what to do. So this goes to fewer experts and we might even wanna consider a very buzzword uh, today, which is AI, machine learning. And could this solution be built with the capability 
to actually automatically detect and give recommendations on how to solve casting defects. Okay, looking at these a little bit deeper, need statements, essentially we're dealing with the issue of help me. Help me solve this problem and I need help now. Long scheduling ultimately comes down to easy access to service team list with direct accessibility if available. The solution that we would create needs to show who is available and their name so you actually start to understand who can help you. Technical superstar, global accessibility to these technical people and language capabilities. So we also have to solve that problem. If for instance, the person is in Brazil, maybe the foundry is located in Brazil and they're used to having a technical expert in Germany, but obviously that's a long commute. Then what needs to happen is you need to be able to connect to this person and also have language support capabilities. The next one is accessible to all. Okay, this needs to be a mobile application, intuitive interface to find support people. Otherwise, if it's not simple and it's not being used where the issue is happening, it's not going to be a usable solution. PC solutions are good. However, you need to consider ultimately where people are having their issue, which is always on the foundry floor. Okay. Next part, multiple expertise requirements. So we need to consider the ability to add additional resources and it be intuitively to understand experts by name. So you can have one person dealing with an issue, say in a business line, and then bring somebody else that has their expertise in something else, perhaps mixer calibration or tooling. Accessible reports. We need to make sure that this solution is going to be cloud-based. We keep all of the content in one place and it's easy to access and to export. Okay. And last one is annotation. Really, this comes down to the heart of whatever concept we come up with because we need to be able to point, click, type on the screen so people understand what we're talking about. So what we did is we came up with this uh, solution here and it is called ASK Now or Ask Now. How does this pair up with our unique selling proposition? Our unique selling proposition is traditional face-to-face. -face. This is the great value that we provide to the foundry industry. And we believe in that it actually is a difference maker because it ensures a customer that is working with ASK is going to get the support needed to ensure that their product works the way it should. And again, not just the product, but also the entire process. So this does not take place over our traditional face-to-face -face experience. It is an addition or an enabler, okay? It provides another tool in the toolbox to ensure that our customers are being supported whenever they need support. So it's on-demand support, it's quick and easy scheduling, multiple field representatives available around the world, with ideal, and it is ideal for quick problem solving with full documentation post call. Okay. Really, it allows us to provide a greater reach of service to more accounts to ensure that people are getting the support that they need. What kind of features does this have? On demand, it is an on demand tool with access to ASK technical services anytime multiple participants, you can easily add people to a call that need to be on it. It provides a list of experts, annotation, and peer-to-peer -peer controls. Peer-to-peer -peer controls is a pretty interesting feature because it allows the person on the other side to more or less become a tripod. They can hold their phone, they can point wherever the person on the other end needs to see, and that's all they need to do. And you'll see that this is really quite a simple process where a guest link is provided to a customer. They can easily click on this link, open the application and get the service that they need. More capabilities are possible and you can also see the PC experience is 
really no different than the mobile experience, except it's easier for technicians to use the PC experience instead of the mobile. Now, you will have the ability of NLP, Native Language Processing, and this allows individuals that do not speak the same language to understand each other. And how this works is quite simply, you input the language that you speak, the other person on the other side inputs the language that they speak. And with captioning, it shows up on the screen in really written word so that you can understand what a person is saying, okay? This is also very handy in loud environments where you actually cannot hear very well. So you can use native language processing for this and it allows you to just understand each other and read what they're saying. So you just input your language and they put input the exact same language and it allows you to do that seamless transition. Okay, low bandwidth controls. So this is a good feature uh, because most foundries are not within well dense, uh, densely populated areas. So cell service is a challenge in most foundries. Luckily, ASK now is actually defaulted to a low bandwidth setting, but it also comes with an added feature of being able to understand through an analysis that you can perform on the device, what is the signal strength? And then you can actually adjust your bandwidth settings to an optimal bandwidth setting so you can use the tool. It even has a offline mode that allows you to take pictures in high definition. And then whenever you reach Wi-Fi or cellular, you can upload these images with annotation to the individual you were talking to. It's important to note that even when your bandwidth is poor and your quality of your video is poor, always, whenever you're taking an image, it will actually take in high definition. Okay, guest invites and web capabilities. So guest invites, this is the means by which we are using the tool today. If you're a customer and you want to get access, then all you have to do is contact your ASK Chemicals representative. We will send you a guest invite. And as I said before, it's easy to click on the link, the guest invite link, gain access to the tool and start using it right away. Cloud storage with CRM integration. This allows all of the images that we take or the videos that we take to be uploaded to a secure database. Now, if you are in a region with GDPR, I'm sure this question will come up. Well, isn't there an opt-in? So there is an opt-in feature for individuals that are in GDPR regions. However, we have also gone a little bit further and disabled a lot of these features so that you don't have to worry. If you are wanting to have a report with images and recordings, simply let us know and then we can adjust it but we wanna make sure that we are properly handling GDPR requirements. So if you want additional features like recording and picture taking, you simply just need to let us know. As I mentioned, high definition uh, images, this is really the crux of the tool, being able to take high definition images because that allows technicians to really understand what the problem is. Working off of these images, is usually the standard operating procedure for technicians when they're solving problems, sharing these images and identifying how to solve them. As I mentioned previously, we talked about loud environments. Now you can use the NLP feature for this. For instance, if both individuals are speaking English, then you set your ask now uh, device to English, and then the other individual is going to do the same. And then you can simply read what they're saying. However, to get around this, there is a better option. And the better option is bone conduction headsets. These devices allow for an individual to be in an extremely loud environment and perform better than noise canceling headphones. We've tested many different scenarios with this, and this is the best option. 
you can actually be in an extremely loud environment as one of our technicians tested and hear perfectly. The way this works is similar to hearing aids where it does not go inside your ear, but around your ear and sending vibrations into the bones that are around your ear so that you can more or less have somebody almost in your head. At least that's the report that we heard from the person testing it. It is so clear that you can actually uh, feel like the person is inside your head. I know that doesn't sound like a great thing, but at least when you're trying to solve a problem, it is. So if you are interested in something like this, please contact your ASK representative and they can look into getting you one of these headsets if this is something that you're very interested in trialing. Now for the reliability. This first case study that we have here, you can see on the right-hand side, a box, a green box. This was an annotated picture that was provided by an ASK technical service representative and provided to the customer. The call lasted about three hours and saved the customer about $6,000 annually. The customer had lost a lot of experience operators and needed help calibrating their Palmer 200 XL mixer. A technician was able to remotely guide the local account manager through the mixer calibration and make adjustments. You can see in the bullet points what the adjustments were, but the important takeaway is that if you have a situation like this, it doesn't need to take two to four weeks of scheduling. You can solve it right away. Sure, the call might take a little long, say three hours to solve a problem, but it is much faster than weeks of waiting. This example here is actually to the issue statement that we discussed earlier in the webinar, which is about COVID. In this example here, one of our technicians was meant to actually fly to a location where there would be a 10 day quarantine period. So that means he would have to fly to the foundry, wait 10 days, and then get on site and then solve the problem. Luckily, a one hour phone call ultimately solved the problem, saved the customer $3,000 and no quarantine periods were needed. You can see here that the customer was able to increase their core quality and saw 25% reduction in binder buildup and plugged fence. So this was a highly uh, positive use case that we saw that pertain directly to the pandemic. In this case study, you can see more annotation. And this was one of the first use cases that we had with us now. Uh, so what we did here was quickly provide the customer with technical service where normal time frame would have been one, two weeks for this particular call. And the customer was having an issue with their mixer when making larger molds. We actually had two experts on this call. One was uh, specifically an expert within a certain subject matter, and then they dialed in another expert that could help with the mixer calibration. It took two hours and ultimately saved about $5,000. You can see a trend here in small dollar amount savings really add up. This is why it's important to consider this option instead of scheduling weeks out, because usually it's a small issue that you don't want to wait on. And yeah, it saves a little bit of money, but it saves a ton of time if you can just use this tool instead of actually having to wait for the two week uh, period. In this last case study, uh, what we saw here was a foundry that was uh, in downtime. Uh, the foundry was not running. And they were trying to set up a day tank. And what you can see here is a quick annotation that happened where our technician was able to solve the problem in 15 minutes and they could set up their day tank when the foundry was not in production. So it was ideal for them to solve it quickly. It was in a very low bandwidth setting and yet the tool was sufficient and was able to give a high definition image where annotation could happen.
in the end, the main takeaways for us now that we want people to understand is that it provides reach. So service more customers. We can, we, if you are a customer that isn't typically getting uh, technical services, then this is a great option for you. Speed, we can get to you now instantly instead of having to wait one, two, three, or even four weeks to schedule, we can get service to you now. And harmony, it doesn't have to be the haves and the have nots where some regions have technical experts in plenty and then some regions don't. Now this allows every region to use the experts that they have and if they don't have them, they can reach out to another region to get an expert to support. Great. If there's any questions, uh, you can enter them now and I'll be happy to answer them. So can customers get a license? Uh, that's a good question. Yes. Um, if you are interested in actually partnering with us, and you want a license that you can have access uh, to us now, uh, this is something we're totally open to. Um, we have had customers approach us on this, and we feel that it is the natural progression of this digital tool to actually be embedded on site on Foundry so that you can get support even quicker. So yes, um, if you're interested, please contact your ASK sales representative and they can uh, help you with this by getting you in contact with me. Is there a cost to ASK's customers for using the service? There is no cost, so it is free. Um, this is a big advantage of Ask Now in that you don't have to worry about- Charlie, there's content. another question. Yep, great. So uh, yeah, I saw it there. Is there a cost to ASK's customers? There is no cost. So you do not have to worry about this. Um, you can get in contact with us. Any other questions? Okay, great, John. I think that's uh, that's all. All right. Are there any other, if, if you have any other, any questions about Charlie's presentation, uh, please take a moment and type them into the chat. We'll give you a couple more moments, but while while we're waiting to see if there's more questions, uh, Charlie has, we can take a moment uh, to talk about some coming digital to digital services from ASK Chemicals. We, some of these are already available um, uh, via our public website, uh, askchemicals.com. There's a product finder that could help you uh, it was some answering some questions about your foundry's process. You will find some information about many of our uh, binders, coatings, sand additives, sleeves, filters, and metallurgical products that are available. Um, we have uh, Ask the Expert, which is often available through foundry management and technology. Um, we have these uh, on-demand webinars as well. Um, and then there is some uh, technical and white papers available on our uh, public website as well. 
Charlie, there is an additional question. And Charlie, just in case you forgot, you have muted yourself. Sean, yeah, I did actually forget that. Um, so I see, uh, I see the question there. Is there training needed on the guest user end? Um, so the offering that we are giving to the marketplace right now is really one where the guest doesn't have to do much. If you get a guest invite, you can very easily use the tool with no training needed at all. Now, if this is something where you're interested in getting a license for this and you want to get really integrated with the tool, um, sure, we can absolutely uh, offer training. We can also put it into one of our other great services, which is our Casting Academy. Um, so there's other ways to deal with that. I would say the standard offering that we're going with, there is absolutely no need for training. This tool is very uh, intuitive. Uh, today, we will have uh, future live and on-demand webinars available either via our public website, and you can also find information about upcoming webinars via ASK Chemicals LinkedIn. With that, again, thank you for your time and attention, and we welcome you to sign up for future webinars with ASK Chemicals.